All right, guys, so here is a fun one. Um, you're going to notice the way I do this one, I kind of break it down and we have to, there's even an odd world. So you got to kind of like, if you scroll through and see what type of worlds there are, like, and then there's this one crazy one that just has like one world. Um, so you'll notice as I do this, like this is how I kind of, when I'm doing it, I kind of work back, like I'll get it to work in one world and then I got to figure out and troubleshoot how to, to get it to work in the other worlds. So I've done this one so many times, it's kind of memorized at this point, but um, I'm kind of going to do it in the way, like if I had never done this problem, what I would do. So the first thing I want to do is write a method to, to build the tower. So you guys have built towers before, so this should, this one should be easy. So private void, I'm just going to call it tower. Okay, so the first thing we're going to, oh, wrong brackets. We are going to turn left. And then we have to put ball, you could put the ball first, doesn't really matter. Then we're going to move, put ball, move, and then put one more ball. And then we need to turn around. You can make a separate method out of this. I just think it's just as easy to just keep it all in one. And let's move, move. Move, move, turn left, I believe. All right, so that builds one tower, right? Well, we want to build the tower as long as the front is clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to do while front is clear. We're going to, I mean, if you want to, you could call it build tower. I'm just going to call it tower. So let's see what happens. And let's go a little faster. Whoops, what did I forget to do? After the tower, she's got to move twice. That would have been an infinite loop. All right, so what happens is, uh-oh, front's not clear. How am I going to get her to build a tower? Oh, well, that's easy. I could just put tower out here. Well, then the problem is if I do that, so let me show you the other world. Actually, let me comment that out for a second. I know you guys probably don't really care, but I want you to know how I do it. So, all right, so watch what happens. Oh, she crashes in the wall right there. So that's an easy fix. Um, hopefully you're thinking to yourself, oh, we can just add an if statement. If the front is clear, and you might say, well, why do I need another if the front is clear? We have while the front is clear, but the while the front is clear is only going to help us for that first move. It's not going to help us for the second move because after she moves, it doesn't guarantee that the front's clear anymore. So that, if I reset and run this, will help with that. Oh, now it works. All right, well, what happens when I add the tower there for my other world to work? Oh, no. I get an extra tower there, which I don't want. So I am going to add some if else's here. Um, so what I'm going to do is if the front is clear, move. So watch here. The second one, she doesn't have to move again here. She doesn't move. So what I'm going to do is add in an else here. And I'm going to have her turn right. Really don't know if this is the best way to do it, but it's the way I thought of, so it's the way you guys are going to do it. There probably is a better way, but this is what we're doing. I'm going to have her turn right. I'm kind of going to trick Carol so I can figure out which world she's in. So outside of here, I'm now going to say if she's facing south, which she would be in this world because she would turn right, then I'm just going to have her turn left. I'm, not, I'm going to put her in the normal normal way. Then I'm going to add this tower in there. Because if she's not facing south, that means she moved twice and she's in the odd world and I need an extra tower built. So let's run it. I want to go slow. I want you to see her turn south and then back east. So you saw her do that southeast, hopefully. And then I'm going to go back to the first world and run it. 
and I can speed it up here. Okay, it works. Now, if I go to hit check code, it's not going to work for one of these worlds. I forget which one it is. This one. I know it does. Sorry, I lied. It works now because I added that. I think we're good. Unless any comments. Code does not have any comments. So what I'm going to do is add it here and say this helps Carol figure out what world she is in. All right, sorry, that was a little bit of a longer one. Then the next couple are, might be a little bit longer because um, they're a little bit more complicated, so I might explain them a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to stop this one, and if you need this next one, just watch. Sorry, I don't mean to be doing this, but then otherwise you have to keep fast-forwarding to find the one you need.